Hello and welcome to today's Vaticano Updates. The first Auditor General of the Vatican is suing the Secretariat of State for $9.25 million in damages. He seeks compensation for loss of earnings, damage to his reputation, and emotional suffering. Libero Malone was first appointed first Auditor to the Vatican in 2015, but was told to resign two years later. Cardinal Angelo Becciui, who is currently on trial for alleged financial crime, said that Maloney was spying on the private lives of Vatican officials, including the Cardinal himself. During a meeting with Sviatoslav Shevchuk, the leader of the Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church, on November 9th, Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI said that he keeps praying for Ukraine and expressed his great sorrow for the suffering of the Ukrainian people. Shevchuk said that the only power of prayer will keep the Ukrainian people alive, and asked the Pope to continue praying for Ukraine. During his general audience catechesis on Wednesday, Pope Francis recalled his 39th apostolic journey to Bahrain, calling it a visit of dialogue and fraternity in a world afflicted by division and conflict. The pontiff told the crowds in St. Peter's Square to not forget that dialogue is the oxygen of peace, even within families. The Holy Father added that dialogue without encounter is empty. Pope Francis encouraged all the faithful to expand their horizons by acquainting themselves with one another. Pope Francis received King Abdullah II of Jordan on Thursday, November 10th, in the Vatican. The Pope and the King spoke about the need to continue to develop interreligious and ecumenical dialogue, always ensuring that the Catholic Church in Jordan may freely exercise her mission. Both expressed appreciation for the good relationships between the Holy See and the Kingdom of Jordan, highlighting the importance of promoting stability and peace in the Middle East. Pope Francis reiterated the need to preserve and encourage the Christian presence in the region. On the World Day of the Poor, November 13th, Pope Francis will preside over a Holy Mass in St. Peter's Basilica, attended by the poor and all the faithful who wish to take part. At the end of the celebration, in the Paul VI Hall, the Vatican will serve 1,300 of the underprivileged with a festive meal. The theme, chosen by the Holy Father for the Sixth World Day of the Poor, is Jesus Christ Became Poor for You. I'm Alan Kopschall for EWTN Vatican.